Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do it ourselves when it comes to doing our hair. Now in this video I'm going to be doing some bantu knots with cornrows in between and as you can see my hair is a mess and that's just some gel, some product build up because I had my hair up in a high puff and then when I got from work I was like I cannot go on like this, I need to style my hair at least for the week. And I decided on Bantu Knots. It's actually a style I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Um, but I wasn't really sure if I'd be able to do it because uh, the cornrow seems a bit complicated to do on my own head. I have done this style before on someone else's hair. Not with Bantu Knots though, with some um, box braids. But I thought it would look cute with some with some bantu knots and i decided on triangular um parts for my for my bantu knots so i'm basically doing one row for my cornrows and then one row for um the bantu knots so that row that i've the first row that i've created that was going to be that is going to be for the bantu knots and then i'm doing cornrows across and diagonal on my head and i want my cornrows to sort of like um cross one another i don't know if i'm making sense but you you'll see what i mean i wish i stretched out my hair a bit because it was kind of painful to part my hair um because doing such small cornrows on 4c shrinkage is can be painful and i had just taken out my faux locks which i had in for about three weeks so if my, I, I tend to be tender-headed when i've had a hairstyle in for for such a long time because i'm normally not tender-headed but if i had a hairstyle in for more than two weeks and when i take down that hairstyle then my hair's my scalp is kind of um, a bit, how can I say, sen sensitive, I guess. So it was a bit painful, but I, I was determined to get my hair done so that I can look like a decent human being. So I started doing my hair around past four. And when I got home, it was load shedding. So I actually thought I was going to finish before it starts getting really, really dark. But I was mistaken this hairstyle took longer than i thought it would be and at some point or like halfway through i had to stop for an hour and a half because um i was using my ring light and i'm power i powered my ring light with my laptop and my laptop battery died so i couldn't continue and i had to wait for the power to come back so i finished around nine o'clock i think but I could, I could have finished around eight or so, but yeah, like I said, these, I wanted these cornrows to be really thin and I didn't want to use um, any hair piece for this hairstyle. So I, I just wanted a natural hairstyle that, that looked really nice. So I moved to a new apartment about a month ago and I'm still trying to figure out the best spot for me where I can sit and do my hair because my old apartment was a ground floor unit and so it had a, a lot of natural light coming through in the apartment and it's not the case for this one I am staying at an upstairs unit now so I, I, I have to use my ring light to kind of have more light so that I can probably see what I'm doing in my head and um, I do apologize if the ring light is distracting in this video. But let's talk about these clean lines. Now, I know a lot of people don't like using a lot of hair product on their hair when they are doing cornrows. Um, but I, I love using my gel, whether it's the molding gel or the edge control gel. It just helps me get really, really nice, clean and crisp lines, as you can see so even if i'm not and i was planning on using 
some gel to really slick down my my bound to knots but i decided against it um because i didn't want too much product built up and i know that i'm not gonna have the style in for more than a week but when it comes to parting my hair and doing my lines and especially if my hair is not stretched out i i must must use my gel to um kind of have lines that are really really clean like i always say the aim is to make the hairstyle look like you went to someone else to get your hair done and the secret to getting neat hairstyles is to make sure your parting and your lines is straight and clean now to achieve this i need to be able to see my head from any and every angle and it is really not that difficult to do you literally only need two mirrors um you can even just have one mirror with you and maybe one handheld mirror that you can have but aside from the mirrors i also need a lot of lighting or like good good lighting and obviously i need to have proper lights if um i want the videos that i'm recording to be of a good quality but even if i'm not recording my my hairstyles i still need some good proper lighting to see what it is exactly i'm it, it helps it really helps a lot to have some good lighting on my head and that's why i don't like doing my hair at night i prefer to do my hair during the day when there's a lot of um, natural light coming through um, but sometimes i have no option but to use my ring light so i'm done with the cornrows that goes from side to side or that goes across um, in order for me to make the cornrows that goes diagonal i have to part um my hair in a, because i went for triangular um parting uh it's quite easier for me to to line up my my parts in a way where the 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 cornrows or the lines for the cornrows can sort of kind of line up i i don't know if i'm making sense but you, you'll see what i mean like as you can see this i when i when i'm parting my hair i make sure that where i'm doing the part it lines up with the previous part that i've that i've made anyway please enjoy the rest of the video and um thank you thank you for watching and to my 222 subscribers thank you guys so much um i promise that i'll 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 be a bit more consistent from now onwards mm -hmm.